Well, from your local election headquarters tonight, the mayor of Dayton looking to become the next governor of Ohio. Nan Whaley is the first Democrat to join the race in 2022. Well, he's been outspoken about gun control, advocating for stronger legislation after a mass shooting left nine people dead in her city back in 2019. If Whaley wins her party's nomination, she will likely be facing Governor Mike DeWine, who is running for re-election. And there was another political announcement today that caught a lot of people off guard. Central Ohio Congressman Steve Stivers resigning from Congress next month. Yes, yeah, Stivers was considered to be a likely candidate for the U.S. Senate on the Republican ticket to fill the seat that will be vacated by Rob Portman. Our Colleen Marshall, of course, following all of this and says Stivers now is leaving politics behind. This sure caught me <laughs> off guard. I think I always have a lot of sources. I was like, what? <laughs> well, Stivers has uh, accepted a job as the new president and CEO of the Ohio Chamber of Commerce. Even though he confirmed for me as recently as two weeks ago, it was his plan to likely jump into the U.S. Senate race. He was laying the groundwork for a Senate campaign when he was offered this chamber job. He says it makes sense for his family and will allow him to be home, while his eight-year-old son and and 11 year old daughter are still growing up. How much of your decision was based on your frustration of the way Congress has operated in the last few years and certainly the unrest that we've seen on Capitol Hill? Well, I'm, you know, I'm uh, one of the folks in Congress who's probably an eternal optimist, Colleen. So I, I don't get frustrated easily, uh, but, uh, you know, it was time to look at my future and what's right for me. And uh, this choice is right for me and my family. And it's a chance for me to make a difference and, and move, be back home, uh, you know, seven days a week. And uh, that made it worth it to me. Uh, but I don't, I don't leave frustrated or um, angry or upset with anybody that, you know, there are a lot of really good people in Congress, uh, a lot of really good people who are Republicans, a lot of really good people who are Democrats. And, um, you know, they just need to continue to try to work together and, and do what our founding fathers intended, and that's, uh, you know, make good public policy. So I, I, I'm not frustrated at all. It's just uh, there's a time for everything, and, and now's the time for me to make a change. Stivers has served 11 years in Congress and says he's had 21 different policies either pass through Congress or become an administrative order. His greatest accomplishment, he believes, is having Veterans Memorial here in Columbus to be named as the National Veterans Memorial and Museum. There will be a special election so voters can choose Stivers' replacement. So Denver. now more to follow. Colleen, all right, <laughs> thank you so much.